Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, so in this video we will talk about exception handling uh, when working with threads in C-sharp. So uh, what I have here is a program that uh, that will attempt to read a file. Okay, this is the function we are going to start the thread with. It will attempt to read a file and then uh, get the text uh, from the file and write it to the console. I have a path here and as you can see I'm hinting that there's no file there so if we run this program right now we should get an exception and I'm starting a thread that uh, will call that will be created uh, uh, running this function so when the start uh, starts here uh, we should uh, it should call this function and then and, and then let's see what happens so let's go ahead and run this function what we expect is an exception all right Okay, we got an exception and specifically a file not found exception. So, what you might be tempted to do is say, well, if I'm getting an exception, I need to handle it. Okay, so the way you might try to do that is uh, go ahead and put a try catch block here uh, to make sure your exceptions are handled. Okay. Let's just print uh, the message. Okay. All right. And let's make sure we put uh, this call inside the try catch block. Okay. Well, you might feel confident that uh, this is going to work for you, but let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Boom, it blows up again. So there's a problem. And the problem is, uh, we're getting essentially the same exception. The problem is the fact that we started a thread. And when we do that, the thread gets its own execution path. Okay? So it's completely separated from the main thread and goes ahead and do, does its own thing. So there's no way for the try catch block that's in the main thread to catch an exception that's happening on some other execution path. Okay? So the issue here is that this thread has nothing to do anymore with the main thread. So if some exception happens on it, the main thread has no way of knowing that. So that's why the main thread cannot catch this exception. So this will not work. Okay. Now, what will work is if we handle that exception on that specific thread that uh, the exception is being thrown on. And the way to get access to that is to this function. And in fact, that's the function that's throwing the exception anyway. So that's where we need to handle the exception. So let's go ahead and do that here. Let's catch. Okay. Let's do the same thing. Let's print the message. Let's make sure we put the code that could throw the exception inside the try catch block. Okay. All right. So we're handling our exceptions. And let's go ahead and rerun this function. All right. All right. It does not blow up. Uh, we get the message as we expect. Now you might say, well, who knows if the program didn't stop for real? Well, what you can do is run something after that. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Let's get a for loop. Try zero. Less than. Let's do 100. I think that's enough to convince you that this is working. Okay, let's just uh, print something. I'm 
that's on my right. Let's do interpolation here. Let's get some space and do I. Hmm? Uh, that should be parentheses. I don't know why I have these. Okay. All right. Let's run this and see what happens. Boom. All right. So when handling exceptions uh, while working with threads, um, the exception handling code needs to be put on the thread, the execution path where the exception is being drawn. And the code that's drawing the exception needs to be between the track catch black if that's what you're using to handle the exception. Okay, so when when you're starting threads, remember that you're starting a new execution path and whatever exceptions happen on that thread will not, uh, there's no way for the main thread to know. So it's really ineffective. It, it will not work to, to just uh, handle uh, your exceptions on the main thread or, or the thread that's starting uh, uh, the, the child thread okay because you could you could for example inside this uh, read file function you could have started another thread right okay and if you had started it inside this try catch block there's no way uh, this catching of the exception will not work so so be careful when you're uh, when you're handling exceptions uh, uh, with when working with threads. Just make sure you put uh, that uh, exception handling code in the function that's uh, that uh, that uh, the you create the thread with, okay? Or whatever function it's going to call. All right. So wrap that in a track catch block and handle your exceptions there not in the main thread or the thread starting the whatever child thread you're going to start all right so this is this video guys uh, go ahead and like the video if you like it uh, subscribe if you want to know when these are coming up and uh, if you've got questions just throw them at me all right thank you i'll see you next time bye